Okay, so today we're going to be covering Percy John Thrower, MBE, born on the 30th of January 1913, and he died on the 18th of March 1988. So he was a British gardener born in Little Horwood in Buckinghamshire. So Percy's father worked as a gardener at Bordsey Manor, built in 1886 near Bordsey Village in Suffolk. His father then moved to Horwood House, a Grade 2 listed building mansion near Bletchley in Buckinghamshire, where he worked as a head gardener. Percy Thrower wanted to be a head gardener, and he worked under his father for four years when he left school at Horwood House. In 1931, aged 18, he became a journeyman gardener at the Royal Gardens at Windsor Castle, earning one pound a week. So a journeyman, that's a trained worker, such as someone who's completed an apprenticeship, who is generally employed by somebody else. So whilst there, he lived in the Bothy, which is a basic shelter, usually for workers on an estate. He lived with 20 other improver gardeners and disabled ex-servicemen. He stayed at the Windsor Castle Royal Gardens for five years under head gardener Charles Cook, who would later become his father-in-law. He left Windsor on the 1st of August 1935 for the City of Leeds Parks Department and again worked as a journeyman. Whilst he was there, he part, passed rather the Royal Horticultural Society's general exam. In 1937, he moved to Derby Parks Department again as a journeyman, but got promoted to foreman, general foreman, and then assistant parks superintendent. Whilst at Derby, he met John Maxfield, and he considered him the best gardener he ever worked under. So Percy passed a national diploma in horticulture on his second attempt, and he also became a lecturer at Derby Technical College. He got engaged to Connie Cook and married her on the 9th of September 1939 at Sandringham. At Derby, Percy became involved in the Dig for Victory campaign and gave edu educational visits to local parks and Derby sewage works. He became a special constable on fire watch duties and he bought his first car, which was a Morris 8. So he became park superintendent in Shrewsbury in 1946. And he had a staff of about 35 and he remained in post until 1974. So in 1951, he was asked to design a garden in Berlin, like an English garden, on behalf of the Shropshire Horticultural Society. He did this with the Berlin superintendent of parks, Herr Witt. The garden was opened by Anthony Eden in May 1952. Percy made his first appearance on TV in 1951 in a programme regarding his garden. So Alan Titchmarsh credits Percy Throw of inspiring him to take up gardening. Percy Throw associated firstly on TV in Country Calendar and then out and about in the programme was renamed Gardener's World, and he regularly presented Gardener's World from 1969 until 1976. He was the gardener on Blue Peter from 1974 until 1987. In 1963, he built his own house with a friend in Merrington near Shrewsbury with about one and a half acres, and the garden became a location for some Gardener's World episodes. So he opened the garden in 1966 and it became an annual event to raise money for charity. In 1967, he became involved with the development of one of the first garden centres in Middlesex. So he retired in 1974 from Superintendent of Parks and started a weekly column for the Daily Mail in 1975. He wrote for the Daily Express and amateur gardening magazine. So the BBC dropped him in 1975 and he appeared with Morecambe and Wise in 1971 and Benny Hill. He was subject of This Is Your Life in 1976. In 1976, he gave a lecture at the Royal Institution, Changing Fashion in Gardening. And in 1977, he wrote Memoirs, My Lifetime of Gardening. And in 1977, again, he, the Royal Horticultural Society awarded him the Victoria Medal of Honour, which is the highest honour. And he was appointed MBE in the year 1984. 
So he's been involved in hosting gardening tours in Europe with the travel agent Harold Slay and he's established the Percy Thrower. Percy Thrower, floral tours company, chartering ships for lecture cruises. So with Connie, three daughters, Margaret, Susan and Anne, and he had black Labradors. So wrote some books. Here are some books among others. Percy Thrower's Encyclopedia of Gardening, The Percy Thrower, Picture Guide to Rose Growing, Percy Thrower's Gardening Year, Guide to Gardener's World, In Your Greenhouse, Picnic Book of Gardening, Everyday Gardening, In Your Garden, Garden Notebook, My Lifetime of Gardening. So there you go. And there's a, really is a lot of information on this man. So check him out. Um, certainly a very interesting and influential individual. And when I think of, you know, myself growing up, watching, you know, gardening programs, the, the first person to me that comes to mind is Jeff Hamilton and then Alan Titchmarsh, because these were the ones that were sort of, uh, you know, one could describe as the most famous whilst I was growing up. And then after that, Monty Don came along. But people older than me, you know, people maybe around the age of 50 or whatever, will remember Percy Thrower. 50, 50 and over will remember Percy Thrower very much. And when I end up sort of talking to people about, you know, gardeners that uh, they do remember, the, a lot of the older generation do remember Percy Thrower. And uh, very interesting man. Um, some great contributions to gardening. And as I stated earlier, you know, he influenced Alan Titchmarsh and uh, you know, Alan Titchmarsh, a very influential and knowledgeable garden gardener himself with a very good career as well. So, you know, these people are out there to be researched and uh, I invite anyone to do further research on these highly influential and um, excellent gardeners. So hope you enjoyed that. And if you like my work, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.